Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie, a wellness coordinator with Friends Life Care. We have another series in our chair yoga. So without further ado, Nancy, take it away. Thank you. Namaste, which means the light in me salutes the light in you. We say hello and goodbye with this. We put our thumbs at our sternum. There's a little notch there that the thumbs fit right into. The elbows come out and we say namaste. So welcome. So we'll jump right in. What I think would be nice if everybody has a strap, you don't need these, these are optional, but a strap makes it very accessible many, in many of the poses. And I have a flat pillow, which I'm putting behind my back, my spine to keep it straight without having to work so hard. So let's come into the position where your toes are straight ahead. And then the heels are the place where the knees are. So you've got a right angle in your feet. You've got a right angle in your knees. You've got a right angle in your hips and a right angle to the top of your head. So just get comfortable, pull the flesh away from your buns. That'll help you to sit up nice and tall. And just take a moment, place your hands in your lap or on your knees. A nice thing to do with the strap, by the way, this is something I like to do, is to tie it around my thighs, right above my knees, not too tight, just firmly, without blocking circulation. Then I don't have to work so hard keeping my knees in, in balance. So sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. We hold tons and tons of stress in our jaw. It's the, it's the, it's the strongest muscle in the body, believe it or not. And just take a few breaths here through your nose without trying to change anything and just watch. Breathing through your nose. Don't try to change the breath or judge anything that you're doing. Just watch it. Let the witness self come out. The part of us that never changes and is always present in the eternal now. And go inside, breathing. And try not to hold your breath anywhere. And go inside and see if there are places that you can relax even more on an exhale. Thoughts and feelings will pop in or come up slowly. That's part of the deal. And when you notice your mind wander, just bring it back to the breath. and always move very gently in and out of poses in between poses and always mindfully so that you can stop if anything doesn't feel good and you don't ever, ever, there are very few nevers and alwayses, but you don't ever want to go beyond your edge, that point at which the body resists. Listen to your body. The mind and the body are not separate, but in this case, when it comes to safety, listen to your body, not your mind. And if your body says stop, please honor its restrictions. Breathing smooth and free. Kind of getting into it, enjoying it. And choose a number now between one and 10. 10 is the most stressed that you can imagine yourself. One is the most relaxed and just see where you fall along that continuum right now. Relax your palms. Relax your shoulders. Relax anywhere where you feel any tension. You may intuitively just move a certain way that you'll feel 
the hip open or the knee open. Or nothing opens, that's possible too. And just laugh it off. It's all okay. Enjoy the silence. Explore. Just watching the breath. Let your breath breathe you. Chin is level to the floor, so the nice, bet, soft in the back of the neck. Take a few more easy breaths, just feeling what already is. Two more breaths again. And with your eyes closed, place your hands right at your belly button. And now we're going to try the three part breath. So we're going to start with the belly, inhale, the belly pulls out into your hands and exhale, the belly pulls in towards the spine. Press all the air out on the exhale. Inhale and exhale. Smooth, comfortable breaths. If they get jagged or shallow, you're pushing a little too hard, just back off. That's what's going to calm the nervous system. Breathing here into the belly. Long and smooth. And see now if you can make the inhales <clears throat> and the exhales approximately the same length. Or you can extend the exhales if you're particularly unrelaxed at the moment. That's fine. You're in control here. You decide. Two more breaths just like this and we'll add on. Soften your shoulders and your neck. Soft, soften the place between your shoulder blades. And at the end of this exhale, take the thumbs around the back of the rib cage and fingers in front. And now breathe into the belly and the ribs. And the ribs expand at the sides of the room. Exhale, the ribs pull in. Belly pulls in towards spine as you press all air out. Inhale, nice and full and long. Exhale, everything pulls in towards center. Inhale and exhale. Thoughts and feelings, as I said, will be there. Just bring yourself back to the breath when you notice. Two more. Easy, smooth breaths. And at the end of the exhale, take your hands to your heart space and breathe into the belly, the ribs, all the way up into the tops of the shoulders. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. If you get lightheaded, it's just that you haven't breathed as deep. Back off a little bit until it's smooth and comfortable. And as you inhale, feel everything expand. And as you exhale, feel it all release down to the cellular level. If the breath gets choppy, back off and make it smooth and come to a more conservative position. Two more breaths just like this. And at the end of the last breath, place your hands in your lap, palms down or palms up, whatever feels intuitively good. And we'd like to keep this three-part breathing throughout class. So now we're going to add some movement. We'll try a few sunars. If you have shoulder issues, you can place your hands on your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Let's start with this. Inhale, flap your wings. <laughs> exhale, lower your wings. Inhale and exhale, 
just getting used to it. If this feels good, stay with this. If you want a little bit more, inhale your arms up, shoulder width, or bring the hands together. Exhale, turn the palms over and bring them down. And the breath ends as the movement ends. Inhale, palms up. And again, keep the shoulder movement if you prefer that. Exhale. Hands can be on the shoulders the whole time. If you like this, think about the angels in the snow. Yeah. And keep the breath going. No matter what, the breath is the center. And again, if you're here, stay right here. This is fine. Or just raise whatever you can raise comfortably. Okay, and this time, inhale if your hands are on your shoulders. Exhale, little baby turn toward the right, only to your edge, the point at which resistance begins. Close your eyes here and breathe. If you prefer to use your arms, bring the arms up and exhale, left hand to the outside of the right, uh, right knee, right hand behind. Do what's comfortable. Yes, safety first, comfort second. Keep breathing the three-part breath right here. Keep the knees forward and the hips straight forward like two headlights. Sit bones pressing, opening the shoulders. Seeing if any little micro movements you make Exploring that, making it even more comfortable. Two more breaths. Notice we're doing fewer poses today, but we're holding them longer. Work is while you hold the pose, and if it's not comfortable, you know, come out early or late. And if you're using your arms, on the next inhale, raise the arms or keep them at the shoulders. Exhale, let's twist the other way. Now, this is going to feel very different on this side. Don't be surprised. Chin is level to the floor. Shoulders are wide and soft. Neck is soft. Know that you can come out of any pose. If your body's saying come out, please do so. Honor its restrictions. Two more breaths here. And on an exhale, either come back to center or inhale your arms up. Exhale, let them come down. Now close your eyes, breathe, and feel the two sides. So let's warm up a little bit more. Let's do some hip circles, round and round. Yeah, just let it fly. Yes, with control, but freedom too. Inhale, exhale, come to 12 o'clock. Take a breath. On the exhale, relax your shoulders. Let's go the other way, inhaling and exhaling all the way, feeling this on your sit bones, your hips, your torso, maybe your shoulders. You can bring the shoulders into it if you like. Let's swim. If you swim, swim the arms. If this is too much for you, you don't have to do it. Just use your torso and bring the hands out. Let's swim at the backstroke if it's comfortable. Inhaling, exhaling, both hands around opening the shoulders, place the hands on the shoulders if you prefer and do it this way. If you have shoulder issues, just do what you did the last time around and come to stillness. And let's do some seated cat and cow. Inhale, looking up, arching slightly in the back and the shoulders. Exhale, rounding, bring your head in, look down. Inhale, arching. 
exhale rounding you do this a few times a day and your spine will be supple and your mind stays supple that's the promise of yoga and the next time you're in cow stay right here and breathe three breaths come out if it's not comfortable please And then exhale into cat and take three breaths here. And then come up to neutral slowly when you're ready. All make sure your head doesn't go shooting back. We don't want any whiplash here, right? So make sure that when you raise your head, you do it very slowly and with awareness. So let's do this, the hip circles again, just to see if it's different. Inhaling, exhaling. You may feel looser, you may not. Come to 12 o'clock, take a breath. Just feel the body. And exhale around the back and inhale. Another way. Just getting used to movement. And then come to stillness and take a few breaths right here, feeling the echoes of those poses. Close your eyes if it helps. I don't know if you remember Lilia Folon. She used to practice yoga in the 50s and 60s on channel 12. And she used to say, when the outer eyes close, the inner eyes begin to open. So let's open a few more places today. If it feels comfortable, place your hands behind your thigh and place the right ankle on the left thigh. Now this knee might come way up, that's fine. You might need a pillow here. Just have it ready. I'm gonna stick it under here just to give myself some support. And then I'm going to roll my ankle, inhaling and exhaling, round and round. Come to stillness. Inhale, exhale the other way, just loosening up the ankle. Our joints really, as we get older, we really need to loosen them. Let's look at this toe here. Turn your foot up if it will and just massage each toe with your thumbs and the neck of each toe. Don't forget the little toes, they need a two. And work your thumbs down to the ball of the foot and slowly moving down to the arch. Don't forget the outside of that middle area. Moving toward the heel. Get the back of the heel too. And now just sit for a minute, close your eyes. Breathe and just feel your foot and your ankle. Good, now let's take this foot. I like to lace my hands in back. Doesn't have to be high at all. I'm high, high just so you can see my foot. Spread the toes. Just make the little toe go out. It took me 20 years to learn how to spread my toes. Don't worry about it. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. One more time. Inhale, X. And exhale. Beautiful. Now, bring this foot down next to the other. And take a few breaths here. Feeling the difference between left and right. So let's do the other side. So bring up the left foot, always with awareness, move with awareness and slowly. So you can back off in any pose that you need. And this, this hip and foot may feel very different so let's start with some ankle turns. Inhale and exhale. Help it if you like. 
Make sure you're breathing. That's what's going to release all that schmutz in there that we're trying to get out. Come to stillness. Take a breath. And then go the other way. And you'll notice that one ankle turns better than the other. That's not unusual. It doesn't matter. Inhale, exhale. Good. And let's take that foot, lace your hand behind the thigh if it feels good. You can also use the strap behind your thigh if you like that. For this, it may not be as necessary. Inhale, exhale, spread the toes. And let's come and stretch the toes. So let's look at the pads of each toe, bring it back to the right thigh and use your thumbs on every foot pad. Breathing here. Don't forget to breathe. We all do, even those of us who've been practicing forever. Inhale, exhale. Now get the neck of each toe. Spend some time there. And the ball of your foot. If you stand all day, this feels amazing. I did this for a waitress one day, and she was ready to kiss me. Inhale, exhale. Yes, and start moving toward the arch. Don't forget to put your thumbs in there and really rub with the breath on the exhale. Yeah, and then move toward the outside of the middle of the foot. You can work in circles or just straight up and down, whatever feels good to you. As somebody says, find what feels good. Moving toward the heel. Don't forget the back of the heel. I hold a lot of tension in the, somehow in the backs where my shoe counters fit. I hold a lot there. And then just rub the foot and let's do the flexing and the pointing. Inhaling. And exhale, spread the toes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And let's put this foot back on the, on the thigh here. Take your pillow if you have one. Place it in your lap. Sit up nice and tall. Flex this left foot. Inhale, exhale, hinging from your hip creases, not your back. Grab that pillow and hug it. Grab yourself and hug it. Breathing here. Close your eyes. Take two more easy, sweet, three-part breaths. And what I like to do is press up, up just very gently on my leg and move the leg down. Take three breaths here, feeling the difference between the two sides. And let's do the other side. So take the other foot, the right foot once again, flex it on the, flex it as you place the ankle across the thigh. Grab your pillow if you have it. Keep this foot flexing so you're very aware of it. That's the trick. Inhale, exhale from your hip creases. The neck follows, not leads. Stay here for five breaths. Always feel free to come out early if you don't want to stay there. Two more breaths. And very slowly, heavy tailbone, chin toward the chest. Come on up, nice and slow, mindfully. Place your foot on the floor. Close your eyes and breathe.
So now, if you have a strap, let's take it and place it on the ball of the foot, which is now enlivened. Exhale, let the strap out as you go. So you relax your shoulders and hold it as high or as low as feels good. Flex the toes and, and open them a little bit. Stay right here, relax the shoulders, nice tall spine. You can feel this all the way up, up and down the right leg. If you don't have a strap, by the way, hold it underneath. Just place your hands under the thigh and do it this way. This just gives you a little ex more ex access and relaxation. Two more breaths. And then place it down. Take two or three breaths here, feeling what's happening in that right hip or wherever. The energy goes where it's most needed to go. You don't have to tell it where to go. It knows. Breathing here. Feel that hip loosen. And if you don't, just imagine it. Energy follows thought, yogis believed in the ancient times. So let's do the other side gently. Open your eyes if you haven't already. Either lace your hands behind the thigh and flex the foot or take the strap and place it on the ball of the foot. What I like to do is roll my hands around once because otherwise I tend to grip the strap. And I don't want to do that. That's going to translate to more tension. So press the ball and the heel forward. Take a few breaths here. Two more breaths. And very slowly let the strap go. Bend your leg and place it on the floor straight ahead of you. Take three breaths here with your eyes closed. So let's open the shoulders a little bit more. If you're able, take the right hand across the body with the thumb up, body is straight ahead. Exhale, take the left elbow under the right and either pull the back of that shoulder open or use your forearms, the backs of your forearms together. This works better for me. What works better for you? Stay here and breathe, do not hurt. Just a gentle, comfortable stretch is all that's needed and you do not have to stay too long if you don't need, want to. Take that hand on top. Again, if you're able, place it between your shoulder blades and grab that elbow. Open the armpits, press the sit bones down, chin toward the chest. Breathe here, take four breaths, slow and deep. Two more breaths. And then ever so slowly bring the arms down to your lap. Close your eyes and take three breaths here. Feeling the echo of those poses. Feel the difference between the left side and the right. let's do the other side. So inhale the left hand straight across the body with the thumb straight up. 
exhale either the backs of the forearms come together or the elbow, the right elbow comes under the left to support it and pull the back of that shoulder open. Keep the fingers active. Four or five breaths here. And come out of anything you like early or late. If you want to stay, listen to your body. Is the breath still smooth? Where's it going? Notice where the breath goes and where it doesn't. One more breath. And then take the hand, place it between the shoulder blade, move your fingers and hand and palm up. Inhale, breathe into your armpits. We're increasing our immune system here where all those lymph nodes live. Chin is slightly toward the chest, but the back is tall. Two more breaths. And exhale, bring it all down. Take three breaths here. Explore your breath. Where do you feel this? Just notice. Where maybe do you not feel it? No judgment here. Just notice what doesn't feel. Oh, you don't have a lot of activity in certain areas of your body. Just notice. And open your eyes gently and just notice how the body feels. Notice how your mind feels. Notice what your feelings are up to. And let's do the hip circles again so you can notice any changes. There may not be any or there may be a lot. Inhaling, exhaling. Feels different, doesn't it? Yeah. Come to 12 o'clock. Take a breath. Take two breaths. And let's go slowly the other way. So you can feel every muscle clicking into place. I like to think of it as a strand of pearls. Inhaling and exhaling, breathing, moving, hopefully enjoying. So we're coming to another pose that I call seated goddess. I'm using blocks because I'm less than five feet tall and my feet don't touch the ground. I'm separating my feet about hip width here, maybe just a little wider. Now turn the toes out slightly, inhale, exhale, hinging from the hips, bring your hands to namaste and fit your elbows into the inner knees. This is goddess pose. Make sure that your knees are directly over the ankle. This is tricky, right? You'll have to figure out what, what is the best, best width for your feet so that your elbows can fit into the insides of the knees. It may take a little doing and if it doesn't work, just leave them you know, and place your hands on your knees with your elbows out. That's another possibility, like this, if you prefer this, or this, depending. Notice that my back is straight, and I'm checking to make sure that my neck is still extended with in line with the spine. If you like, you can place your hands on your feet. Not everybody can do that. Let your back relax, but I want you to have a little bit of support in the belly for the lower back. So feel the belly move up into the spine here. Relax your shoulders, gaze at a point on the floor or close your eyes. And come out if it's not comfortable, please. 
but feel the stretch in the hips, in the back of the thighs, maybe the legs, maybe the shoulders. And on an exhale, let yourself go a little deeper if it feels okay. You don't have to. It's not about how far you go. It's about exploration and comfort and safety, not necessarily in that order. Two more breaths. And then you can also, by the way, put the, put the pillow into your body if that's more comfortable. I forgot to tell you that, sorry. Like this, yeah. Take your pillow and shove it right in there and let your body lean on the pillow, the upper body. Okay, place your, place your feet on the floor, place your hands on your knees on an inhale, come straight up, the whole back moves together and close your eyes and take a breath. Beautiful. Let's do a few, few side leans here, see how it feels. Inhale, raise your arms if it's comfortable. Exhale, lower the left one and lean over to the left. You can use your left hand on the chair to support you. Sit bones are equally pressing. You don't have to go very far. So you're feeling the outer back hip all the way to your fingertips. One long line. See if you can visualize that. Head and neck with the spine. Head and neck in line with the spine. And let's wave the hand. Inhale, exhale. Just wave it. If it's comfortable, you can wave down here too if you have shoulder issues. Whatever doesn't matter. You can move them around in a circle, opening the joint. If you go in a circle, make sure you go the other way the same amount of times. Open this up. We did some, some swimming. This is, feels more, more deep this time to me. And exhale, bring the hand down to your lap. Inhale, exhale in between sides, forward bend. Can you do that? Yes. Keep the sit bones on the floor. Notice the difference between the two sides, the arm, maybe the hip. Just notice. And then with a heavy tailbone, chin toward the chest, press your hands into your lap and come straight up. And sit for a minute, close your eyes. See what you find inside. And let's do the waving on the other side. So we'll start with both arms. Inhale. If it's comfortable, exhale. Nice and slow so you can control the movement. Inhale. Yeah. And exhale. Beautiful. This time raise just the left arm. Exhale, leaning over. Feel that beautiful long line of energy from the outer back left hip right out your fingertips. It's deep breathing here. And let's wave it. Inhale and exhale. Doesn't matter which one you inhale and which one you exhale. As long as you're breathing, it really doesn't matter. Inhale, just feel the tree movement. You're, you're being a tree in the breeze. And the next time you're on the right, stay there. Feel the stretch again, keeps both sit bones pressing. And one more breath, come out if you want, yes. And exhale. Come back to center, lower the arm. Take a breath. And let's do one more forward bend between the sides. And then I'm gonna teach you a really cool breathing exercise. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, coming forward from the hips rather than the back. 
Chin is toward the chest here. You can round a little bit. On the next e exhale, let go. Two more breaths. And very slowly, you might want to plant your hands on the seat of the chair. Inhale, press down to come up. So lift and ground at the same time. You're grounding on your sit bones, but you're lifting the crown of your head. Stay right here in what we call sitting mountain. Long, tall spine. Notice how tall you're sitting without even thinking about it. Posture is an amazing byproduct of yoga. So put your pillow down for a moment if you're holding one. We're gonna, I'm gonna teach you a very interesting breathing technique called alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhana. I'm gonna teach you phase two, stage two first so that you understand phase one better. So take the right hand, bend back, the index finger and the middle finger. We're going to use the thumb and the ring finger to open and close the nostrils. So take the thumb to the right, close the right, exhale out the right. Inhale into the right, close your eyes, deep and smooth. Take the ring finger, block the left, open the right, exhale out the right. Inhale into the right. Thumb, block the thumb on the right. Lift the ring finger, exhale out the left. Inhale into the left. Close the left nostril with the ring finger, lift the thumb, exhale out the right. Inhale into the right. Block both, open the right, the left. Exhale out the left. Do this a couple more times on your own. Smooth and long on the breath. One more time to both sides, ending out the left. Place your hands in your lap. I didn't show you stage one. <laughs> I'll show it to you. You can do this without holding the nostrils by putting the palms up, exhale out the left, think about it. Inhale into the left, open the left palm, close the right. Switch opening and closing, open the right and breathe out the right. Inhale into the right, open right palm. Close the palm, open the left, breathe out the left. Two more times on your own. When you've completed the cycle, just breathe through both nostrils the way you normally would. Feeling the slow, still feeling that develops. Yeah, open your eyes gently and notice how you feel. This is a great exercise to do before bed. If you're feeling stressed, it'll calm you right out. <laughs> Put you to sleep too. I use it sometimes if I'm having trouble sleeping, it's really good. It's good anytime. 
sit on the toilet and do it. It doesn't matter. You just enjoy the breath. So we're going into Shavasana now, guided relaxation. And I'm going to come right up to the camera so that I can speak in the lowest voice possible. So make yourself comfortable. Take any stretches before we do anything, before we do anything else. Just move in any way that feels right to you. And just enjoy. And just notice your feet. That we worked pretty hard, actually. Just notice how they feel right now. And notice your ankles. Notice your shins and your calves. We've had some activity in those areas, so they may feel quite different from the way they felt at the beginning of class. Notice your knees. The fronts and back of your thighs. Hips and pelvis. Your beautiful torso with all those beautiful organs inside that are sparkling because we massaged them and detoxed them. We've got the stomach and spleen on the left. You don't have to know where they are, just imagine. And the liver and the gallbladder on the right. And in back we have the adrenals and the kidneys, which are lovingly surrounded by the rib cage, sparkling, clean and detoxed. And feel your lower belly that we worked fairly hard in places. It can relax with just a teeny tiny bit of tone. And notice your lower back and the muscles surrounding the lower back. and feel the middle of the back, a hard area to imagine, but we worked it, so let's feel it as best you can. And of course the upper back, and what we call the back of the heart, the place between the shoulder blades. In the tops of the shoulders. The upper arms and elbows. Forearms and palms. All ten fingers. See each finger in your mind's eye either soften and curl 
or open and release its tension. Front and back of your neck. <clears throat> Soften your jaw. Relax all your facial muscles, including all those little muscles around your eyes. Feel them soften and go smooth as silk. crown of your head. Now relax your whole body, your whole body sitting in the chair, softening, opening, relaxing. Effortless breath. Relaxed body, nowhere to go, nothing to do except to breathe and be aware. So there are three major areas that create alignment in your body. Your mind, of course, your body and your heart. The three are in interdependent. So by caring for one, you're caring for all, which contributes to your sense of alignment and sense of well-being too. So in your mind's eye, envision a triangle. When one angle is pulled out of alignment, the entire triangle becomes misaligned. So if you neglect your body and your mind or your heart, they all pull each other out of alignment. So we have to pay special attention to each one. Yoga can help us to maintain that beautiful triangular alignment. It opens your body. Creates ease in your heart and your mind. It relaxes your thinking. And of course, the breath becomes smooth and soft. The breath is always your gauge. Of, can always tell you where you are in the scheme of things. So when we release tension and anxiety and breathe fully and sweetly, we find that our sense of well being is enhanced. Mind, body, and heart all in alignment. So align yourself in body, mind, and heart. And that's what we've done this morning. They're all important. Take a few minutes to feel your perfect triangular alignment.
Begin to lift and deepen your breath again. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, your wrists and ankles. Bringing circulation back into your body, bringing your consciousness back into this room. Press the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and make any little movements you need to make to wake yourself up a bit, shifting from side to side, breathing, doing whatever feels good. And just notice how your body feels right now. Notice your breath. Take a few breaths here. Notice your mind. Notice your body. Just notice. And listen to this poem. Your mind filled with pebbles and pigeons squawking in feathers, the uneven ground within you tumbling, and you sitting quietly, watching your breath, losing count, scolding or inviting yourself to begin again, the breath moving through you, finding your stiff places, your stuck places, the knotted spaces untangling in language of spheres, moving beyond logic, and you looking the same from the outside. Your mind is quiet now and still, even if just for this moment, the peacefulness of the starry sky where pigeons once stumbled and stalked. So bring your hands into namaste and go back to that number between one and 10. 10 is the most stressed, one is the most relaxed and see if it's changed. And remember my favorite old Chinese proverb that says, Tension is who you think you should be. Relaxation is who you are. Namaste. Thank you 
so much, Nancy. Oh, you look so good, just smiling. <laughs> I feel very good. I hope everyone else does too. Did anyone have any questions? Nancy said she'd stick around. Any questions about what we've done or how we did what we did, what we did? Everybody's so looped, they can't even talk. <laughs> That's the idea. And I'll be interested, you'll, you'll be interested to check in during the day and see how you feel and check in at night and see how you sleep. And don't forget to use that breathing technique. It's really quite effective. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. I know we all feel relaxed and limber and Friends Life Care thanks all our yogis for joining us. I'm gonna end the recording now. Have a great day. Thank you. And I'll be back, I'll be back next week also.